That was because of your direction. Furless. <laughs> Furless. Calm down. Super productive Sunday. Good morning, everyone. I thought I would film my Sunday routine for you guys today because every single Sunday, Brayden and I have like a particular kind of routine that we do. Obviously, it kind of changes every single week. And at the moment, it definitely is different since we're in lockdown. But there are like a few key things we like to do on the weekend, particularly on Sunday, just to kind of set up our week and get organized and stuff. So I thought it could be quite a fun vlog. We're gonna do some cleaning this video, a grocery shop, and basically just a bunch of organizing for the week ahead. So I am excited to have a productive but relaxing Sunday at the same time. I did actually sleep in this morning. It's currently like 8.30, so that was quite nice. And it's such a gloomy, rainy day. This whole weekend has been like that, so Honestly, it just calls for a sleep in and Brayden's being an absolute gem and he's actually already gotten out of bed. He's had a shower and he's going to make me some breakfast, which is so nice. Like he spoils me on the weekend. I feel like he just treats me by making me breakfast and he sometimes goes out and buys me a coffee. But yeah, I'm very, very lucky. So I will probably get up in a moment and while he makes breakfast, I think I'm going to have a shower and put some tan on because I've been meaning to do this for the last few days. But honestly, tanning is not fun, but I just love the way I feel when I have a tan on. So I'm going to put aside some time to do that because it's been something that I've been meaning to do for the last few days. so lovely when Brayden does that for me on the weekend and I just love a slow get up but I actually do have to do a little bit of work this morning that I completely forgot that I needed to get done so I'm gonna do that and then I will check in with you guys a little bit later because this isn't usually a part of our Sunday routine I usually like to take Sundays off of work just because I do think it's important to have a time off and it can be really hard with my job sometimes to draw the line and find time off and so I guess like the weekend is usually the time where I do that but then again sometimes you just can't help when work pops up so I'm going to get a little bit of work done this morning which requires me to put on some makeup and get ready and then once I finish with that I'll check in with you guys this afternoon and we'll get on with the rest of the day. completely got caught in the rain which is typical for us to be honest I feel like it's not the first time I've been vlogging and you and I in a while. yeah but even like on one of our first dates we got caught in the rain in the city do you remember that yes that was because of your direction <laughs> so, no, I didn't know where we we're going we we're trying to find this pizza place and then we got caught in the rain we never found it we never found it but um anyway yeah we started our walk and then we were like oh should we go and get Guzman for lunch just because we don't have any groceries yet? And so now we're doing like a detour to the other side of Cronulla to go and get Guzman and the rain is catching up with us. So we're probably gonna be drenched by the time we go back to the car. Love that. So for lunch, I've got a burrito bowl with chicken and guac and Brayden's got a Cali burrito. Mm. So while we eat our lunch, I reckon we should plan what groceries we want to get because I'm only allowed to go. 
You're not allowed to have two people from the same household go to the grocery Wait, store. Wait, am I not allowed to go? No, you're not allowed to come with me. Are you happy about that? What if I wanted to go? Believe me, you don't want to go. We should stay home and play games. I'd take up that excuse to stay home and play games. But yeah, we should make a list of what we want to get. And then you can do some meal prep this afternoon. We've still got quite a few things that we want to do today. But at the same time, we want to chill. So I think we'll try and get like the cleaning and the grocery shopping done within like the next few hours. And then we can just like relax this evening and just make the most of our weekend and just chill out. But I also think that it would be good for us to do something other than like watch TV this evening because I feel like Brayden and I always just watch TV. Like that's just what we do. As soon as we wind down, we just pop on a TV show and relax. But we're trying to make more of an effort to like do things together, like play games and things like that, especially now that we're in lockdown because we have so much more time to do things like that. So I think it's good for us to put aside some time to do things other than watch TV together. Mm. Anyway, I'll check in with you guys after we've finished eating and hopefully we have come up with some dinner and meal ideas for the week. Okay, so we're just finishing off our list now and then I'm gonna go to the grocery store. And I actually went on my Instagram stories just before and asked you guys if you have any healthy snack ideas because I feel like, like I've said in previous videos, I keep going to eat like chocolate oh, and just- snacks are hard. Yeah, I keep just going to eat unhealthy stuff, especially when it's in the pantry. So maybe if you guys have some good healthy snack suggestions, I can do like a video where I show you different types of healthy snacks. We've already got protein bars. Yeah, we've got um, protein bars. Vitawheat biscuits. Yeah, Vitawheat biscuits. One other good suggestion was to get some chocolate coated chickpeas. So I'm gonna get them. And another thing that I want to get is some kiwi fruits because I just think kiwi fruits are a really great snack and they're really easy to eat. And also really, really good for your digestion. Like when I went to go and see my friend Alice, who's a dietitian last year, she recommended for me to eat a lot of kiwi fruits just to kind of like help with my stomach issues and my digestion issues. So I'm gonna get back on the kiwi fruit grind and go and get some, because they're just such a good snack and so good for you. Anyway, I will check in with you guys after I get back from the grocery store and I'll do a little haul. I just got home from the grocery store and it honestly felt really weird going grocery shopping because I haven't been to the shops since the restrictions increased and tightened. And so I was just like very aware that I needed to kind of like stay away from people and make sure that I didn't get too close and didn't spend too long in a particular area. And I was trying not to like browse. I was trying to just like go in and get stuff and then get out of the area and move on. So yeah, it was effective in the end, but there were a few things that I didn't get just because I couldn't find them. And I was like, honestly, it's not the time to be just like walking around trying to find stuff right now. So let's get into the haul. Starting over here, we've got some frozen bits. So I picked up some Frozen chopped onion, I use this all the time. It's cheaper than buying onions from the store, it lasts longer and it's pre-chopped, so, so convenient. I then picked up two different types of stir fry mixes. I use these all the time, like stir fries are my favorite thing to make and they're so delicious. Then moving on to like the meat that I got. First of all, I've got this beef bolognese and Brayden really likes this because his family has always used it and it honestly is really nice. It's kind of just like a fresh, pasta sauce that's already done for you. So we like to have this for those nights where we can't be bothered to do too much cooking. And then I've just got two packets of chicken breast. One of these Brayden will use for his meal prep for lunch. And then the other one we will use throughout the week for dinners. And then like, if we don't get through all of it, I'll freeze some of it. Then we have some falafel. I love falafel so much. It's so great to put in like a nourish bowl or in a wrap. And it's one of my go-to things to put in my lunch. So I got some of these. I'm gonna speed through the next little bit of the grocery haul until we get to the snacks because I feel like that bit's a little bit more interesting. So we've got some eggs, four avocados, a zucchini, some bok choy, perino tomatoes, baby spinach, some gold kiwi fruit. And if you haven't tried like the gold ones, you have to because they're actually like nice to eat even with the skin on. I know that might sound really strange to some people, but because they're not furry, it's not really that weird to eat them with the skin on. And I know you can still eat the furry ones as well, but like the texture just isn't the same. But these are like furless, furless? And they actually taste really good and they're also super good for your digestion. So I got these kiwis as a snack. Some oat milk. They honestly didn't have a big range of like dairy-free milk for some reason. So this is the only one that I could see that was like a barista version of, oh wait, this is almond milk. It's not even oat milk. I thought I picked up oat milk. 
well, I guess I got Barista Almond Milk, but yeah, I couldn't see any of like the regular ones that I usually get, so I guess we'll try something different this week. So this is just the Coles Barista Almond Milk. Hopefully it's good. Now moving on to the canned stuff, I got two small coconut milks. I usually like to get like the big version of this, but they didn't have any for some reason. So I ended up getting a big version of the light coconut milk, which I haven't tried before. So I got that. Then we've got some more sweet corn. I always love this for like our Mexican bowls. Some taco spice mix. I love adding this onto chicken and stuff when we're doing like a Mexican kind of meal. So Mavis crunchy peanut butter. Brayden and I both love this. Some vanilla essence. Then we have some traditional wholemeal wraps. I just find these last really well in the cupboard and are such great things to have for lunch. Then I got some pad thai rice noodles and I just feel like these would be really good with a lot of like the Thai style dishes that I make. I usually have rice with them, but I was like, let's change it up and add some flat rice noodles. So I got these. Then we have some dry roasted cashews. I always feel like dry roasted nuts taste so much better. So I got these for a snack. And I also love adding it into my chicken and cashew dish that I make for dinner. Then I got some black chia seeds. These are always just really helpful for breakfast. Then I picked up some Cobb's popcorn. I forgot to get the one that you pop in the microwave and Brayden did request that, but hopefully this will do. I really like this one because it's lightly salted and lightly sweet. So I thought this would be like a good snack to have from watching like a movie in the evening. Another snack that I got are Vita Wheats. Brayden loves these. So I thought I would pick up some more. And then as for my chocolate substitutes, I picked up two things to try. I have actually tried these before, but I haven't had them in a while, but they're chocolate rice cakes. So it's basically just like a rice cracker with some dark chocolate on top. So it's a lot better than eating just like a block of chocolate. And it comes in like these little snack packs. So I feel like that'll be good because it'll help me with like my portion control. And then I've had a couple of my friends tell me about these and I've never tried them before, but they're roasted chickpeas covered in dark chocolate. I've actually tried the plain version of these. So the ones that don't have chocolate on them and they're really yum. So I feel like I'll like them even more now that they've got dark chocolate on them. And then of course I picked up some toilet paper because there wasn't any last week. So I thought, you know what, if they have some, I probably should get some. And then I honestly think this will do Brayden and I for a long time. So the total came to $136.27, which I don't think is too bad. So I'm gonna pop everything away now and then we'll get started with some cleaning because Brayden and I have quite a lot of cleaning we need to do. We need to do like a thorough deep clean of the bathrooms and just overall a tidy. So that is our plan for later this afternoon. to do that just because it's not obviously a very fun job to do. It was actually a bit more of a mission than I thought because our shower screens were so hard to clean. I don't know why, like there was almost like a film over it and it just like would not come off. Eventually, calm down. What is that? It's the washing machine. It's just yelling at me. Eventually I managed to get it off like with like a multi-purpose wipe, but if you guys have any recommendations as to how to like get grime off of showers and stuff, let me know because I'm not the best with like cleaning, if I'm honest, like I just kind of use the basics. But also I would also love another recommendation from you guys. So currently we have a bunch of like our shower products on the floor because we don't have any shelving in the shower. And I know that you can buy like those shelves that suction cup to the wall, or you can buy ones that like hook over the shower and stuff. And I was just wondering which ones you guys would recommend because I feel like I've had ones in the past that hook over the shower head and it just gets in the way. But then I also am worried that if we get one with like a suction cup that it won't even suction to the actual wall because 
the products will be too heavy for it or something. So if you have any tips, let me know. So I'm now going to crack on with doing some more laundry and Brayden's going to have a shower and then I'm going to have a shower because I just feel gross going about doing other things around the house now after cleaning the bathrooms. Like I just want to get out of these clothes and just feel clean. So we're going to shower and then after we've done that, we're going to start meal prepping. Ella's in the shower right now. I'm making my lunch. Just chicken. I think it's like one and a half kilos. And some, some of this Mediterranean mix. And I just mix that with rice and that's my lunch order for the week. Ella sort of gets into it too. Yeah. <laughs> I have also finished doing my meal prep and so is Brayden. So you will have seen from the time lapse, but I made these protein balls, which honestly look delicious. I'm not gonna have any tonight because they're for throughout the week. I used a macro mic protein powder and it's a snickerdoodle flavor. So it's gonna be like peanut butter and cinnamon and oh, I'm so excited about it. I'll leave the recipe down below that I followed, but it was so easy. But now, Brayden and I are actually going to have dinner and we've opted for takeaway tonight. We're having some Thai food. We've been so good this week at not eating out or buying takeaway. Like, honestly, we haven't bought takeaway or eaten out in over a week. Like, we've been making everything from scratch except for today because we had Guzman for lunch and now we're having Thai for dinner. But I feel like we deserve it because we've honestly had a super productive Sunday and I'm feeling so good for it. Like I'm refreshed and I feel ready for the week ahead. And I also feel like relaxed. I don't feel stressed at all. So yeah, I'm really glad that we did this today. So we're gonna go and enjoy our dinner. Wondering if thousands of miles away, the sky is just as blue. It's as if I'm stuck in yesterday When I'm thinking of you Cause when you have your morning coffee I'm turning out the lights so I could dream And when you smile through the screen I wish you could be with me So I lay my head to rest When the sun is rising I'll start So we are in bed nice and early. It's actually only 9.30 now. We've already been in bed for probably half an hour, which is unlike us. I feel like we don't go to bed usually this early, but we were like, you know what? Let's just have our tea, read our book, do some planning and then call it a night so we're fresh for the new week. I'm also not feeling the best right now as well, if I'm honest, because my stomach has been playing up again which is so weird because I haven't had stomach issues in so long. So if you guys are new here and don't know, basically I had like a lot of stomach issues last year and I was seeing a dietitian and she diagnosed me with IBS, which I still think I have. But around the same time, I actually ended up in hospital with an appendicitis. And so I had my appendix out and ever since then, I haven't really had like stomach pains. So I was like, oh, maybe it was all due to my appendix. But tonight my stomach has played up so much and it's got so bloated and I've got back pain and it's been kind of like irritated the last few weeks, but tonight it was terrible. And I didn't even eat a lot of takeaway at all. Like more than half of my dinner was left over and my stomach was just so irritated. So I think I'm gonna keep a food diary over the next week and just like pay attention to how I'm feeling and just see if like there's something that's irritating my stomach, but it's just so frustrating and very uncomfortable. So that is another reason why we are in bed a little bit earlier, but I've just done a little bit of planning for the week ahead, which has made me feel very, very organized. I've written a big to-do list and kind of like scheduled in some things for myself this week, because I think it's really important, especially since 
we are in lockdown at the moment to have kind of like a bit of a schedule and things to look forward to so i like scheduled in some time for me to do jujitsu with brayden because he's been asking me and then i put in like my pt sessions with my friend jess and then like other little work bits so i'm happy i've done that so now we are just going to do some reading. I've been loving listening to audio books before I've been going to sleep and then Brayden's reading an actual book, but I just suck at reading actual books. So audio books are the way to go for me. So I'm going to do that and then we will call it a night. But that is pretty much our Sunday routine. Each Sunday is very different. I guess usually when like we're not in lockdown, we'd probably be a bit more social and see people. But at the moment, it's just us. We're only allowed to see each other. So this is our current routine. And I feel like we still do a lot of these things even when we're not in lockdown. And it's really helped us set up our week for success and just feel really on top of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and it maybe inspired you and gave you some ideas of what you can do on a Sunday to make the rest of your week go really well. And if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.